what are these little balls for and as you can tell you have such dark under eye circle where you're like is there but it's not there but it's there oh but it's not there it's your skin that is glowing like such hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel you know you're here for a sephora try on haul a couple days ago i uploaded my first Sephora haul, in fact, it was the day that the Sephora holiday savings event started, which is still going on right now. So if you are a beauty insider, you get to shop with your discount depending on your tier. I'm not sure what day I'm uploading this video, but I will be leaving the details of the sale that promo code that you need to enter at checkout will be all on the description box below along with the links of each of the products that I will be talking about today but if you watch that video you know that I hold this new Westman Atelier holiday gift set which in fact comes with I I noticed after I uploaded the whole that all of the products right here are new so Westman Atelier are introducing for the very first time blush in powder formulation Westman Atelier is a brand that is very well known for their blush on a stick, the creamy ones, but this is the first time that they are introducing a blush in the powder format. And within this set, there are two new shades of highlighter as well as their lip balm. I also have on this baggie right here, the new Dior Backstage Silver Essentials Eyeshadow Palette another cool tone palette it is the vibe this season i also got the meteorites from the holiday collection the house labs concealer which i have heard the greatest things about it so let's just start with these as you can tell i already have my foundation on i already did my brows again all the products will be in the description box below i got the shade 22 light medium and this is that triclone skin tech hydrating the puffing concealer it comes in 31 different shades that's a lot of shades it's a clean formulation lightweight long wearing non comedogenic concealer that does more than cover it visibly blurs brightens and conceals with medium to buildable coverage that deep halves after two weeks of use so it's nothing that we're going to see the result in terms of the debuffing right away and if you're new here to my channel welcome welcome to all of you my beautiful friends thank you for being here i do film in natural light um actually it's a very sunny day in front of a big window and with a 4k camera okay this is the only thing that i'm not liking about this concealer is the duffer applicator it's just so so tight that I feel that it's gonna splash all over, but I, I'm not gonna judge the book by its cover. <laughs> I'm gonna try it first. And as you can tell, you have such dark under eye circles. You see that they are just <laughs> worse than panda bears. And I usually just like to put a couple dots. Okay, the concealer I can tell right away has a little bit of a thicker consistency, seems like. And I'm going to use a Sephora 57 brush that, by the way, if you're not aware of, the Sephora collection is right now 30% off regardless of your tier. So it doesn't matter if, say for example, you're not able to shop yet to sell. As long as you're an insider, you get 30% off. Okay, this, it gave me a medium coverage immediately for my needs. I'm sure for many of you, this may even be a little bit more than just a medium coverage, but rather a medium to full coverage. And we're going to still build it up. Now, like I said, it's not runny. It's not super thin, but it's not too thick either. It's a really nice, kind of like a whip consistency. But, oh wow. And in terms of the finish... You know, it's not really a matte finish. It's very natural, and I see a little bit of kind of like a sheen, like a silkiness to it, but without being radiant. And there's no shimmer particles, just in case if you're wondering. The Duffo applicator also has this it's kind of like a divot or a hole that it carries more product. Just gonna do two swipes. Now I do have, as you can tell, hollow areas under my eyes. So my dark circles may look even a little bit more pronounced too because of that. 
And you know what? And the shade is really good. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm so happy that we are seeing more and more concealers that are really targeting what we need to target. Both dark circles, but at the same time, not being cakey or being heavy as in the past or being too dry because I do have so many fine lines under my eyes. I do have dry skin too and those are things that I battle a lot with my under eye area and it's really hard for me to get impressed with concealers but I mean first impressions I'm I'm quite impressed with the shade the actual coverage the blendability the finish it will be just a matter to see how it wears throughout the day. Just going to end up a little bit right here where I have my redness. Now for bronzer, I'm using Valentino. Love this bronzer. It does have such a beautiful, beautiful finish. I'm very excited to be trying these new Westman Atelier products in this lovely holiday set. Red, perfect for the season. Oh my goodness. Have you been shopping for holiday gifts? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm curious about it. And this new blush comes in the shade Petal, which it actually looks a little bit on the cooler tone, even a little bit mauve, I should say. It has a little hearts. So cute. Let me swatch it. And let's. Oh, this is very smooth and pigmented right away. It's a really nice shade, I think. And by the way, it comes with a mirror. I also see a little pink hole on the back. I don't want to assume, but it may be refillable. Does it say here? It doesn't say, but I mean, I guess we will have to wait and see when she comes out with perhaps more shades of this blush formula. Okay, it's non powdery, but it's not a big shade formulation. Oh, okay, it's a matte blush and it's actually super blurring. This is so pretty. I actually like the shade a lot. You know, it reminds me to Rosewood by Dia. And it does have plenty of pigment. I mean, it gave me color to my face right away. Wow. I look like I had been sand keys. Like, you know, when you're out on the sun and you just got a little bit of color, just like that. I'm going to be honest with you. When I read the shade of this lit up stick, I got very, very confused because it, they gave the name Bisquid, and Bisquid is the name of their contour stick. You know, why did they that? that? That's, I'm not complaining, but I got like, wait a second. You know, as soon as I started and I saw the shade, I'm like, oh, did I got another contour stick? But no, look, it's one of her cream highlighters. And the shade, it's a little bit not deep because it is sheer but as you can tell it has some depth on the tube on the actual bullet see right there but it's again completely sheer so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with my finger oh that's so beautiful that is so pretty it doesn't add any kind of shade it's not like say for example the super loaded tinted highlighters those they do have a tint to it this one is just fairly sheer with a slight sheen to it it just my skin doesn't even look wet it just kind of like reflects the light it's not too balmy either so if you're thinking about for example the um, Chanel bombs and shells the one that they come on the tube those are a little bit more balmy they are not Vaseline like and neither do this one this one is even more thinner the consistency and it gives that translucency but it, it looks like my skin is slightly wet but wow and I really like this shade a lot. I think if you have my skin tone, you're gonna really, really love in this shade in particular. 
like I said, it's not giving an actual hue or a hint of pigment, but there's just something very special, kind of like that special je ne sais quoi of the super loaded tinted highlighter in Peau de Beige, just like that. I'm excited. Hopefully this is not limited edition and hopefully she comes with this same shade, but in singles. But if you don't want to miss it, you will need to get it from the holiday set. I do have here the shade Brûlé, if you want to see the difference too. Now this one, as you can tell, has more pigment. This is for someone that has a little bit of a deeper complexion or if you want to use it like myself, I use it kind of like a um, bronzer kind of topper like a cream bronzer kind of topper and then this is one of my favorite ones nectar I feel nectar yeah nectar is lighter and even more per lines not that it has any shimmer but it's just lighter so I feel like nectar is more for like those with lighter complexions I can still use it and I love it and I have recommended you know a gazillion times um definitely brule for someone with deeper complexions and this new one biscuit um again the highlighter <laughs> perfect for those of us with light to medium and also those with medium even to tan complexions now from this same set we have the squeaky clean liquid lip balm and i thought the shade was natural but no the shade is nectar which to me is kind of the liquefied version of this shade right here so this is also a new shade because they are the lighter shades i think is nana and dt i think this one has a little bit of that kind of like i mean milky super glossy look at that and even I don't know, like pearlized, like pearly finish, but not being metallic. There's no shimmer or nothing of that. It's just the, the reflection of it. It's just the sun. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I'm in love. I'm obsessed. This is the type of lip balm that they just make your lips look fuller. I always love this formulation, but this shade. Mmm. It just complements my lip tone so well. It's gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. Okay, this gift set is a total hit for me. Now let's go for Dior and their new backstage eyeshadow palette in Silver Essential 011. So this came out I think this was the fall release for the backstage line. All of these cool tones for this season are just so wonderful. But here we play a lot more. There's not really a true black. There's a very deep kind of grayish tone. But most of it we're playing with lilacs. And whew, these are so beautiful. These shades are so pretty. Purpley tones. Taupes. Oh, this is so pretty. Swatch. I think this is a more unique kind of cool tone palette. We see a lot of pinks, we see a lot of black and grays, but I think introducing these beautiful lilac, purpley, eggplant shades, it just gives a little something, something extra to the palette that just makes it extra special. Sonia G Classic Crease, and I'm going first to this shade, and I'm gonna take it and apply it all over the eyelid. And this is just to set my concealer. Let's go with the Sonia G Worker and to this gorgeous lavender shade. Oh, this shade, just calling my name badly. And I'm taking it all on my mobile lid. Oh, this is such a gorgeous shade. If you have brown hazel eyes, this will complement your eyes so beautifully but do not disregard it if you have blue eyes because it's such a light lavender tone Sonia G mini booster and go into this shade and I'm gonna apply it on the outer third going next with this shade and I'm just gonna apply it a tiny bit right on the center of the eyelid BK Beauty 204 brush and I'm gonna go again to this shade and I'm gonna dust it on my lower lash line with a Sonia G flat definer 
I'm gonna go to this shade back again. And I'm just gonna take it on my lower lash line, but on the outer third. I really like these purpley tones. When they are done right, it has enough blue and not too much red to it. And therefore, it doesn't look bruised, but it actually shows beautiful on the skin. Refer 03 brush. And let's go for this shade. And I'm gonna take it on my inner corners. Whatever is remaining on the brow bone, I'm gonna create a liner. Just doing a mini wing. Westman Atelier mascara, not a not Westman Atelier. I honestly, this video is not sponsored by anybody. So it just happens to be that this mascara, I have been loving it so much. It's been such a great mascara for me. This one as well as the one from Hermes. Now the one from Westman Atelier is a little bit more dense. The one from Hermes is just a little bit more thin and it actually builds up even faster than this one. I think they both have their beauty. Wow, this palette is gorgeous. So happy I got it. I mean, all the products so far, I'm so happy. I just need to try this Garland Meteorize Fierce Glow in the shade Too Clair Light. So I do have actually this shade, but this is the limited edition holiday Teen packaging. I know. I wish when they bring this holiday edition that they will do it in the, at least the three shades or that they will come with two unique shades for the season. Just make it extra special. Mostly because from Garlan we don't see a lot of releases. Perhaps we have seen a little bit more this year because they have released their new eyeshadows. Um, yeah, but in general we don't see a lot of releases from Garlan. Mostly they are seasonal releases. So hopefully they make it a little bit more special than these. But I'm excited nonetheless because I love the meteorites. You know how much I rave about them. I'm gonna use, you know, my friends, with these meteorites. Not that this is the mask brush, but this is the brush that I prefer to use to mix in the meteorites is by La Mer. Just is so big, fluffy, and it's, I mean, if you have touched this brush, it's soft, 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 like a feather. And I like to just buff. And it just creates this filter-like effect with a little bit of a glow. There's no shimmer, but it's just, it just gives a little bit of that candle-like kind of effect that is just so flattering on the skin. So beautiful. I mean, there's a reason why these little pearls have been in the market for so many years and so many people rave about them. Do not disregard them. So I know some people are like, oh, what are these little balls for? They do, like I said, this candle effect that is just so pretty with this filter, yeah, filter candle effect so gorgeous oh i'm in love with my makeup it's on the cool tone vibe but it's not heavy it's super pretty and just perfect for the season although i have to tell you it is still so hot here in my area it feels like we're still in summertime okay friends this is my final look and i'm gonna be honest with you i had to step out of the house because I needed to run a few errands and although it's very hot it's also kind of windy so my hair I don't know it just went a little bit crazy whatever is the case I came back and I reapply a little bit of this lip balm I'm so in love the color the shape I'm sorry I'm just maybe blinding you because the sun is hitting a little bit different right now um you know <laughs> How it is to film with natural light? I can I don't have control of the lighting, but I have to tell you that all the makeup has to stay super well, even when I had to deal with the wind, <laughs> with the wind and the heat, because it's it's really really hot. I mean, like we are a few days to November, and it feels like we are in full summer. I can literally feel like I can go to the beach and just be fine and even bronze up. But you know, my friends that there is no look without the fragrance of the day. And I went ahead and pick up a new fragrance. It's Princess by Killian. Oh, 
Flesh, which is the newer flanker. Now, I think this came out perhaps like three or four months ago for the summertime, but I just saw it on the Sephora's website, which I was like, hmm, because in fact, you know, well, if you don't know, on my, what was it, September favorites, I included Devotion by Dolce Gabbana. This is, if you want to smell like a snack, like this beautiful lemon bar, like, um, Italian lemon cookie. Oh, this is just phenomenal. It's super creamy. Look at the dent. Although I have to say that <laughs> this is a fragrance that is not mine. It's actually my oldest daughter's. She's actually the one who bought it and I'm just completely in love, obsessed. This is a phenomenal great, great fragrance but if you don't know i have an obsession with kilian i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess or other like we most know it as princess and this is the older bottle this is a phenomenal green tea marshmallow fragrance one of my very 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 favorite fragrance for fall time i have done my favorite fall fragrances last year my ted talk and princess is included so when I knew about this one, I was like, oh, oh, I have to have it. And mostly because there is not really much of a change of a note, but actually an addition of a note that I completely love. And that is, you should know, my friends. If you know me, you know that I love bergamot. It adds a touch of freshness to some fragrances. So I'm just curious to see how much it has changed, if it's really keeping the DNA of Princess Original or if it's completely different. This is the bottle, super pretty. And actually these are the new bottles from Killian. So if you buy Princess, the original one, it will be in black, but like such and not like this big old ball, which I'm honest with you, I prefer this bottle than this one. This is kind of heavy and yeah, but the fragrance is what is important. So can't wait to smell this baby. So let's go for it. This is going to be the fragrance of the day. Oh, oh, I like it. I can already tell you. I didn't even have to put my arm close. It is, I just have this thing with bergamot that I just love. It is that freshness, but I can still smell. Yeah, I can still smell the green tea, the marshmallow. Not as cozy as the original one. In fact, I think that the ginger on the Au Fresh, it's a little bit more present. There's a little bit more of a zin to it, and perhaps even a little bit more, not super floral, but I feel like they have added perhaps a little bit more of a floral element to it. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. This is, you know, like a lime green tea with a little bit of that smooth marshmallow but not gooey oh no yeah i have to have this oh this is just so good this is too good but this is more of like an everyday scent but really really great scent mostly if you're a person that uh, perhaps you don't like too much gourmand scents that are too strong or like too gooey, too vanilla, um, just too sweet and toothache inducing. And you like a gourmand that is almost a gourmand, but it still has that a little bit of like, no, I'm still a freshy, but I give you that a smoothness of a gourmand fragrance. You're gonna love, love these. Now, if you tell me what about in comparison with this one, well, this is different. This is more like a total cookie. You are gonna be like a serious snack. This is a total Italian lemon cookie. So, so delicious, so, so good. You're gonna get a lot of compliments. This one to me is kind of like a very easy going kind of scent that is very clean, a little bit crease, a smooth with a marshmallow. The green tea adds a little bit of that green note to it. Is it very, very different than the original Princess? No, it actually re it, it has the DNA. And that's a good thing because if you're going for, okay, well, all fresh is fresh and you love 
princess, you're not going to be disappointed to get this one because you know what you're going for. You're going for a fresher version of the original princess and that's what Killian is giving you. So 10 out of 10 with this one. Obviously, I will keep you updated on the siage and performance, perhaps on a comment. In fact, right now I'm going to go for a late lunch, almost early dinner <laughs> with some friends and I'm going to be wearing it. So let's see what's their reaction. I usually do not ask, but people, you know, people, they tend to do comments, all your makeup, all your fragrance and all of that. And I also work on an industry that it's very social. <laughs> so people tend to do a lot of comments. So I can definitely give you a feedback on this baby. But other than that, my friends, everything that I tried today, I'm just so so beyond impressed this concealer has been incredible it's not only smoothing it's not creasing at all i haven't said it it looks incredible if anything just as most of concealers for my panda dark under eye circles i will still need a little bit of a color corrector it has a very gorgeous kind of like satiny finish but there's no like shine or bouncy of too much light to it too which i really like i really enjoy that i was able to also build it up and it's not heavy it's super um just lightweight in general but it does have some density to it and it feels really nice under the eyes this eyeshadow palette by dior complete obsession this is just out of the park my very favorite from the backstage line usually i'm not very fond to the backstage line eyeshadow palettes uh, not because they are not good it's just you know they really never cast me like a wow impression this one completely different story oh completely completely obsessed with it the blush from Westman Atelier. I cannot wait. I, I'm sure. I mean, like, this is kind of like, sorry, I'm doing this with the mirror and I'm just flashing light on me. But anyhow, I'm saying that the Westman Atelier blush is gorgeous. It hasn't worn off for, you know, the amount of time that I have been outside. And I cannot wait to see all the shades that I'm sure will this coming year. We're going to see the blushes in the powder format from Westman Atelier. Super beautiful. This shade is fantastic. I think it's going to suit so many skin tones and it's super easy to build. More on the matte side, but it's still a little bit natural. It's definitely not a flat matte, but rather kind of like a velvet finish. And then the meteorites from Garlan, totally beautiful. This highlighter and stick I absolutely love. It gives the most beautiful, gorgeous sheen to the skin. Same formulation as the other ones, but I think the shade is kind of like that counterpart of Peau de Peche, also by Westman Atelier, where you're like, is there, but it's not there. But it's there, oh, but it's not there. It's your skin that is glowing like such, which I absolutely adore. And the lip balm, this shade fantastic if you like lip oils this is more to me like a lip oil because it hugs the lips perhaps not as heavy as a lip oil but that kind of sensation that will give you very juicy lips and because it's kind of like crystalline and kind of a tiny bit milky not too much it just makes your lips look extra juicy i mean all the products like i said that i tried today have been amazing completely 10 out of 10 so if you were looking for this video this try on hold to see if you were going to add it to car for the sephora sale well you have my stamp of approval okay my friends and i hope that you really enjoyed this video that you found it helpful i would love to hear from you do you have any of your products on your wish list are you adding them to car immediately let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It would be amazing if you can come and follow me both on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way we can grow our family because it's going to be five years and we're still kind of stuck. <laughs> we need to make it grow, okay? So help me out. Let's grow our family. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're going to love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.